Earlier in the year, I did a video that looked at old Irish decimal and pre-decimal coins, specifically the coins designed by Percy Metcalf, known as the Barnyard Collection, which featured a series of animals native to Ireland. If you haven't seen that video and fancy giving it a go, then I'll put a link to it now. So do check it out after this one. Now, one of the Irish coins that I was missing in that video was this one, the three pence. And I finally managed to bag myself not one, but seven of the little blighters for a grand total of three pounds off the internet. And that's roughly 42 pence per coin. So let's take a look at each one in date order, starting with the oldest first and then working our way up to the most recent. So, here we go. 1928 is the first one on offer and also happens to be the first year that these coins from the new Irish Free State were minted. The obverse side here shows the Gaelic harp in the centre, the lettering around the edge, which translates to Irish Free State in English, and the year 1928, positioned either side of the harp. Flipping it over, we can see the seated hair facing left. And this is my favourite design from the Barnyard Collection. Look at how lovely that image is. We have the lettering around the edge, which translates to half rule, and the denomination at the bottom, 3D, 3 pence. Now then, I've placed the seven coins together because I want to show you one subtle difference that occurred from this earlier design. Here we have the 1928 version at the top, and then we go 1942, 1950, 1961, 62, 64, and 1966. From 1928 to 1937, the date was split either side of the harp, with the wording for Irish Free State circling the edge of the coin. Do you know what? It probably shows up better if I just use two examples. So we've got the earlier version of the coin on the left and then the later version from 1950 on the right. So from 1938 to 1969, the inscription changed from that on the earlier coin to era and the date was moved to the right side of the coin. If we turn both examples over and take a look at the hair on the reverse side, we can see that it looks exactly the same as the original design on the left there from 1928. One and a half million of these original 1928 versions of the coin were minted back in the day. And if you are interested in collecting this particular coin, then look out for the 1933 1935 and 1939 dates as they have low mintage figures and will be worth a little bit of money. Not enough to retire on, but they are the rarest of the bunch. Now as we are looking at the hair design on this particular coin, it's important to note that these animals have long been admired for their strength, speed and their association with the moon. Irish folklore has the hair often associated with the other world or the supernatural realm, and to harm one is considered bad luck. Irish hairs are obviously native to Ireland, and carbon dated fossils has shown that they were present in Ireland as far back as 28,000 BC. So that's this little coin summed up in a bite sized video. Like I've said, it's my favourite from the Barnyard Collection, and if you want to know more about that set of coins, then do check out my video as mentioned earlier. Alright, that'll do for now. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel as it's totally free and costs you nothing. Give this video a thumbs up and do hit that notification bell. So until the next one, it's bye for now.